Hi, this is Kumar Ayush, your online music instructor. As you all know that we are in the series of uh, online learning keyboard and piano. So again there is a new lesson for you all. Whenever we are going to start a keyboard learning process or a digital piano learning process, then you must have to think that which keyboard you have to buy because in the market there are so many toy keyboards are also there. Yes, this on the screen the keyboards which you are seeing are uh, for me they are just a toy keyboard. I would highly recommend don't ever purchase these types of toy keyboard as uh, the size of keys is very small when you are going to switch from this keyboard to a standard size piano keys keyboard. So don't ever purchase uh, these types of keyboard for your kids for your children or for you also. Generally we see ki yes we are in a learning process so we don't have to invest to uh, invest this amount uh, of money in our keyboard but uh, so in this lesson we are going to see the keyboard range which will start from 6000 and uh, we are going to talk the price range of the keyboards which are available in the market till 22 or 21000 so the lesson begins so uh, first of all i want to tell you some points which you have to consider whenever you are going to purchase a keyboard or a digital piano first point is the most important point for a digital keyboard and uh, for the digital piano is touch sensitivity touch sensitivity is the first important point which you have to keep in your mind whenever you are going to purchase a keyboard for you because it is the only thing or uh, it is the only feeling which you can uh, get from a keyboard which have the touch sensitivity okay then the next point which you have to see is the number of keys how many keys a keyboard or a digital piano have obviously if you are going to purchase a digital piano then they are going to have 88 keys but as you know that in the market there are so many keyboards which are available they have some uh, less number of keys also so uh, if you are going to purchase keyboard then uh, the, the number of the keys is also a matter for you so always purchase at least 5 octave or 61 keys keyboard 68 keys keyboard then the third most important point is the size of the keys see if you are going to purchase a toy piano or if you are having a toy piano then you can compare the size of toy piano from a standard piano the size of the keys of a toy piano and a standard piano is almost different so if you are playing uh, uh, right from the starting in a toy piano and you are suddenly switching in a standard keyboard or a standard digital piano then your fingers are not going to figure out the distance between the notes fine because uh, i can say the distance in the toy keyboards is much lesser is the size of the keys is much lesser than the standard keyboard then moving towards the point number three are the digital keyboards or the digital piano have weighted keys what are weighted keys now the most important point for you all see when you are going to play a digital piano or acoustic piano then you are going to feel some weight on the keys which you never feel on these digital keyboard why because these digital keyboard are generally built from the the fiber material the plastic thing but in uh, when you are going to move in a higher category price list the keyboard which are available are also have the weighted semi weighted hammered keys are also there so next point is the keyboard polyphony now keyboard polyphony is the amount or the property of a keyboard to play the number of keys simultaneously at the same time how many notes you are going to play how many notes how many sounds are going to come at the same time when you are hitting the keyboard or when you are uh, hitting the digital piano next point is connectivity uh, how many connection points types of connect connection points are given in your keyboards like uh, we have audio in jack audio out jack mic in jack and guitar amplifier jack so you have to see the requirement of uh, yours and the keyboard which you are going to purchase is uh, meeting your requirement or not next point jacks and ports so which which type of jacks are in your keyboard which jacks are you requiring are available in your keyboard or not then the last important point is 
the built-in effects now what are built-in effects every keyboard offers built-in effects like uh, most commonly effects i'm saying reverb and chorus so in reverb so many number of reverbs are re available in every uh, digital keyboard so many number of chorus are also available in the digital keyboards then there are so many effects like delay and distortion etc which are available in the keyboard so you must check the built-in effects which are in the keyboard okay so now you all know that uh, which points you have to consider which points you have to keep in your mind while you are going to purchase a digital keyboard or a normal keyboard so moving uh, towards the list of the keyboard so on the first category on the first list of our digital keyboard we have yama psr 51 or the yama psr f51 this keyboard has 61 keys and it is a portable keyboard the price is 6000 the link is given in the description then on the second number we have the keyboard of casio cts100 or it is known as the casio tone it also has 61 keys and the price of this keyboard is 7000 the link is given in the description then on the third number we have yamaha psr e 263 it also has 61 keys the price of this keyboard is 8500 and link is given in the description then on the fourth number we have the keyboard of rock jam rj561 it also has 61 keys and the price of this keyboard is again 8500 link is given the description then on the next list we have casio ctx 700 which also has 61 keys and the price of this keyboard on amazon can be seen between 10,000 somewhere and somewhere you are going to get to uh, around 12,000 also the links are given in the description again so next keyboard we have casio ct x870 in it also has 61 keys and its price is 13,000 the link is in the description again then the, on the next category we have a new brand which is roland ex20 its price is 14500 link is given in the description then next keyboard we have yamaha psr ew300 it has 76 keys now this is the only keyboard under 15000 which is offering 76 keys the link is in the description then we have yama psr e463 it has 61 keys it is uh its price is uh, 16000 on the amazon the link is in the description then we have casio wk6600 it also has 76 keys it uh its price is almost 20000 on the amazon site link is in the description then we have above 20,000 price range then first keyboard is Yamaha PSR i500 500 sorry uh, so it has uh, 61 keys and its price is 20,500 on the Amazon side the link is in the description then we have next keyboard Casio CTX 9000 IN it also has 61 keys its price is 21,000 the link is in the description then we have Yamaha PSR i455 it also has 61 keys its price is 21,000 link is in the description then we have uh, I can say if you are going to purchase a keyboard then you must have the stand and you must have a dustproof bags then for you all we have a 61 key portable carry case and its price is 8000 on the Amazon site the link is in the description given next we have one more type of bag which is a keyboard bag padded sponge bag with dust cover and its price is 1000 so the link is in the description then we have a keyboard stand which is generally a x shape shape stand sorry so we have a keyboard stand and its price is 1400 the link is in the description so uh, i am giving you the official sites of yama casio roland and rock jam so if you want to visit you can just uh, click the link which is given in the description and you can visit the official sites of the brands yama casio roland and rock jam so there is a tip for you all generally what i have seen people say sir we know Bhaiya, we know how to play casio i know how to play happy birthday song on casio but this is wrong 
you don't have to say that you know how to play casio on your uh, you know how to play happy birthday on your casio you have to say that uh, you know how to play happy birthday song on your keyboard because casio yamaha roland rock jam alices these are just a brand name they are not the name of an instrument so you must keep this thing in your mind whenever you are saying you have to say that you know how to play a song on your keyboard not on the casio because these are just a brand name so just uh, giving a short conclusion of this video so as you know if your budget is 10000 then i must say that uh, uh, if your budget is 10000 then you must go for yamaha psr e263 which have 61 key and uh, the size of the keys are of the standard digital keyboard then uh, if your budget is 15000 then you must go for the yamaha psr ew300 key or the casio ct 870 in what is this in this is the indian series if the keyboards are having in and its model name then it resembles that the keyboard is of indian series the keyboards are made generally in the two traditional ways as the indian series and the western series though if the keyboard model number is having the in then it is quite clear that the keyboard is from the Indian series. No, uh, then if your budget is twenty thousand, then I must suggest you can afford Casio WK sixty six hundred or the Yamaha PSR E four sixty three. But my choice will be Yamaha PSR E four sixty three, which is a sixty one key portable keyboards. Then if your budget is twenty two thousand, then I must say you must go for Casio CT X nine thousand N or the Yamaha PSR I four fifty five sixty one keys. Again, I have to remind you that both Casio CTX 9000 IN and the Yamaha PSR i455 both are Indian series keyboard so you must go check the shops which are in the Lucknow and uh, go have your practical demo go take your demo see the functions which are in the keyboards if you want the shops number if you want some discount then please ping me on my whatsapp I will give you the discounted rate from the renowned shops of Lucknow Thank you and bye-bye. May God bless you all.